Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr, and I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is of Target. And, um, sorry, I just got a text message. Um, and I was looking for Clorox, Clorox wipes, and I was also wanting to get fabric softener and um, chocolate. I was looking for like candy, like chocolate. I wanted to get, find Hershey's, um, Hershey, um, like uh, Hershey Kisses or um, like the mini Hershey bars and they didn't have them. So um, all they had was um, in the Easter section, they had Hershey bars, but they're in the shape of a bunny and they were kind of pricey. Um, and they're like, they're like the, I need like, I like them when they're more petite and these, these were bigger ones. So anyway, um, but I ended up finding chocolate and, um, so yeah, so you guys, uh, so, okay. So there was no Clorox there at all and there, but they did have method, um, spray like cleaning spray. And, um, but I'm ordering mine from Grove Collaborative. Um, I'm trying to, uh, fix something with my Grove Collaborative. It still, it shows that I have to spend $50 to get free shipping at Grove. And, um, I'm waiting for them. They've already, they didn't answer my, they didn't answer my question when I got contacted Grove. They replied back that it shows that I have the VIP status, you know, this, whatever it is where I paid for free shipping and that it's showing, you know, so I shouldn't be paying, having to pay $50 before free shipping, but it's, I went back and I looked at, again and I tried to put just like it's either 25 or 35 I can't remember because it's been a while but it still says I need $50 for free shipping so I have to contact them contact the company again and they don't take phone calls right now um the last time I called it said we are like we just email us or there's two ways to get a hold of them but not by phone so I'm trying to wait to buy I don't need the um spray so um I wanted like Clorox wipes because I like to use wipes more than spray and so I'm gonna um, try again to contact the company and ask them to fix my account because I, I don't want to spend fifty dollars in order to get shipping free because I already paid that initial fee but anyway okay so but I wanted to find Clorox wipes and they weren't there at Target there the it was a little bit shocking because the I could not believe okay they had tons of laundry detergent um, they had you know the softener um but you guys there were it was weird because it was like like the dishwasher detergent tabs i bought those too and those were like hardly any of those um the uh air freshener aisle was pretty well stocked i bought air freshener i'm about to show you too but anyway there's a lot of stuff that was just there's some holes, like holes at Target, like spots in the aisle where it's completely empty. And I don't like that feeling. It's like, ew, you know, I don't like that feeling. Um, and you know, I didn't, I did not like hoard by, you know, like I didn't like, you know, um, hoard a lot of stuff, you know, because, um, like I'm not for me, I don't want to do that, but, um, it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable seeing how little there were of things. So, you know, certain aisles were stocked really well and then certain aisles weren't. In fact, in fact, the toilet paper toilet paper aisle completely empty, com bare bones, nothing there. Two, three aisles completely empty. And then uh, the one aisle with the paper towels, there was like maybe six paper towels left and they were the ones that were sold in the two count um for $4.99, I'm like, I am not doing that. I am not paying $4.99 for two paper towels because I can go to Dollar Tree and I just was like, nope, I don't, nope, I won't do that. So that was the only thing they had left is paper towels. And as far as paper goods, they had like maybe two or three napkins left. It just was ugh, at my target. And then, but I did find some things and I spent about $94, $96 and it added up so quickly, you guys. I don't know how it adds up so quickly, but it does. So let me go ahead and show you what I got so I can go ahead and put this away and um, start using it too because that's why I went because I needed this stuff. So the first thing I got was the Suavitol, so I can't ever, Suavitil, Suavitil. So um, I, this is humongous and this was under $7. This was like $6.39 and I actually did not smell it yet. So I actually want to smell it because I had the mask on. So I'm like, there's no use trying to smell it with the mask on. Uh, it smells good. It smells, yeah, it smells really good, actually. So, yeah, I'm glad I bought that because it comes in, like, three, two or three different scents besides this one. So, I got that. So, yeah. 
I really like that. Um, you know, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree sells Suavitil, however you say this again. Um, but, um, you know, it's the only individual smaller sizes. So, which I've bought in at Dollar Tree before, but ooh, that makes me want to cough. <coughs> Excuse me. That made me cough. Okay. Then, um, I picked up some other things. I picked up groceries. I picked up more bread because we go through bread really fast here. So I picked up this was $3.19. Um, I did pick up some raisin bread. I don't know how much this was. This was best if used by April 30th. So I, you know, grabbed towards the back because the ones in the front were expiring earlier. So picked up one more of these. Uh, then I picked up two things of, um, of uh, thin spaghetti. And you know, I just really wish that they would sell these and I know paper is better for the environment, but I really wish they would sell these this brand, the Target brand in plastic, like Winco does with their spaghetti, because I feel like it's fresher in the plastic. I feel like it stays fresher than these boxes, because these boxes are kind of like, it's actually kind of is kind of has like a little bit of a tear in it. Yeah, I just actually has a hole in it. So this one actually is like tore. So I don't even know if I'm gonna use this one, guys. I'm super picky about my boxes like this. So yeah, I don't, I may have to toss that because they're not doing returns right now at the, at my target. There was the return section was dark and like, they are not accepting returns right now. So yeah, I probably won't even, yeah. Okay. That was like 90 something cents. And then this one, is this one in better condition? Yeah, it's, it's better. But anyway, it's kind of hard because I had my sunglasses on when I was shopping and my mask and it's like, and I didn't want to touch my sunglasses to like able to, cause it, to, for me to read, I have to like take my sunglasses down and. So I was kind of like a little blind when I was looking at some of these things. So anyways, okay. Then um, I picked up um, the three cheese pasta. This was our pasta sauce. This was around a um, dollar sixty something. Really good deal on that. So I picked up uh, two of these, the three cheese pasta sauce. Picked up two of those. Okay. And, um, then I picked up some bananas. We needed these because we go through them so fast in our family. So I picked up just one bunch of those. Um, then I got these for my doggies, the Denny sticks. And um, they come in different sizes. This is for a toy small size. And my dogs are um, small. So um, anyway, these are $3.74. So I picked up those. Then I picked up a thing of Cheetos. I don't remember how much this was. And probably like three dollars and change in fifty cents or something. Um, then I picked up another thing of bread. I'm gonna move this so I have more room to show you things. So I picked up that. Then I got some goodies in here. I promise, guys. I've got some fun stuff. I'm just gonna get the groceries out of the way, and I got some fun stuff while I was there. Okay. Then I got. More macaroni. My kiddos love this macaroni. Um, so I picked up this. This is like $3.99. Kind of pr more pricier than Winco. More more expensive. Um, then I picked up got my bags here. What is all over this bag? It's like stained. Okay. Then I picked up... Oh, here's my receipt right here. My receipt. Okay. This... Okay. Um, I picked up some air fresheners for the... for around our house and this is a Hawaiian infusion infusions and it works for Glade and Airwick warmers I was like what that's so cool because I can't remember every time I go shopping if I have Airwick, Airwick warmers at home or Glade warmers I never remember so this is gonna totally fit and you get three of them and they're four dollars and nineteen cents so I mean I love the uh, Bath and Body Works ones when they have the sale oh my gosh those are my favorite ones to buy the plugins but you know, we can't go there right now. <laughs> I could try going online, but they're cut. Kind of, I don't want to pay shipping at Bath and Body Works. That's just me. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I picked up this big old pack of, um, 46 wrapped, individually wrapped dishwasher detergent tabs. This is for our dishwasher. Um, well, obviously this was $10 and some change. And yes, it seems pretty pricey. Um, but uh, this was $10.49, but um, I don't want to be low on this stuff. Like this stuff, I don't want to run low on. And I just opened my last box of 
dishwasher tab. So it was like, you know, and when I saw that there's like hardly any left at Target, I was like, uh oh, I better grab that while I can, you know, because this girl is not hand washing dishes. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that I would be very good at that. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't really want to have to do that if I don't have to, you know. Um, then I picked up this in the dollar spot. So oh, I'll show you this in one moment. This is another thing I picked up for the house. It is a Glade lemon scent. So I'm going to put this in my bathroom. Um, so it smells really nice, like in my, um, like, uh, you know, my bathroom and it's lemon scent. And I'm like, oh yes. And it smells really good. And this was like 99 cents, uh, 99, 99 cents. So Dollar Tree price. So yeah, the lemon. All right, so the next thing I picked up is this really cute, um, it's a wood uh, role play storage scene. And um, I guess you just, it's just like a pretend toolbox or tool um, a bench. Yeah, tool bench. And there's the um, picture. There's nothing inside of it, but it looks really cute. It says like nails, screws, pliers. Like it's just really cute. And um, yeah, so this was, Okay, so it says $5, but when it rang up um, when, at the scanner at the store, it said, see sales associate, you know, that, that sign or that thing, it shows up uh, sometimes. And so I went to the register and they marked it down to $2 because it wasn't showing up either in their system. So they gave it to me for $2 because that usually means it's clearance item when it says that as far as I understand. So yeah, I got it for $2. So yeah, it's really cute. Really cute. Okay, so then I picked up that. I thought that was cute. All right, then um, I uh, found this. Okay, Easter stuff was is 70% off. And um, so you guys, they did not have much left in the Easter section at my Target. Uh, it was mostly baskets and there was hardly any of those. And then there was a lot of eggs, like just plastic eggs. And the candy was 30% off. So I went ahead and picked up two of these double bubble little cartons, egg, egg shaped bubble gum, um, for my kiddos, my older kids. And these were, um, 70 cents a piece, I believe. Um, yeah, they were 70 cents each. So that's a pretty good deal for bubble gum. So I got two of those. I just really wish they had more at the, with the Easter stuff, but they were so picked over, so picked over. Um, I also picked up this from the dollar spot, you guys. Oh yes, the stars, so cute. So this is a wall art and you get four sheets in there and you can stick them on your wall and I love it so much. My daughters, all my daughter's middle name names are star as well as mine. And so I you know, thought this would be really cute if they wanna decorate their walls with these, like just so cute. And um, there's four sheets, so you get one, two, three, four, five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, <laughs> my math is so bad, 25, like 100 stars. It should be 100 stars in there. So yeah, there's the back. So I thought that was a good deal, you know, because I've been looking at those on Amazon, like wall decals and stuff. And I even have seen the star stars on Amazon and they were, you know, not too badly priced, but um, I just wanted to get, um, I mean, for three bucks, that's a really good deal. Okay, then um, I picked up here's another bag Doritos. Those, I'm not sure how much those were. And then this was part of the Easter candy. I got my chocolate. Yes, I was craving my chocolate. These York peppermint patties were how much were they? Where are they? Where are they? Um. 251. So, you know, not much because the Easter candy is only 30% off. So it's not a huge savings, but I'll take it, you know. Then um, I have one downstairs my kiddos wanted when I got home, but I bought two of this exact same bag. This is like mini ones. They're not like the longer ones, they're like shorter. And these were $2.99. And these are not part of the Easter sale. This is just the regular chocolate. But um, you guys, the chocolate aisle, like the non Easter chocolate candy, is like sparse too, sparse, totally sparse. So yeah. Um, then I picked up this in the Easter aisle. It's a jelly bubble and this was like a dollar 20. And what it is, is it inflates up to 20 inches 
and um, it says the jelly balloon ball works just like a balloon but better to start and okay, it gives you instructions and uh, the valve the valve will the valve will seal all by itself so it's just like a really cool jelly ball a jelly bubble and it's glitter it says glitter I don't see glitter how come not I'm not seeing glitter that's weird maybe when you stretch it out when it, it says it inflates up to 20 inches so I, there's only one of those otherwise I would have grabbed one for each of my kids so there's that what else was in here oh I bought this bird, and uh, this was uh, a cute little guy, and he was um, $2. So I don't know what the original price was, so they marked it. It didn't ring up any price at the register, so they gave it to me for $2. And I mean, it's not that great of a deal, considering it's St. Patrick's Day has long passed, but I thought he was really cute, and he's a cute little bird, and I love him. So he, it actually has the date. It has 2020 on there, and it says Laddie. I guess he, it says Laddie on one side. I'll show you the little gold tag right here, and it, then it has 2020. I don't know if it's upside down. Yeah, 2020, and it, he's just really cute. So yeah, he'll be really cute next year hanging out for um, St. Patrick's Day, and the little glasses, the gold buttons, his little feathers. So yeah, Spritz is good. They have come out with some cute stuff. I just wish I knew how much it costs to begin with. That's always the fun part, you know? So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's really cute though. Yeah. I thought he was cute. So he came home with me. It was the only one they had left. And then, um, I picked up cat treats. So I picked up the, this, this one, the hairball control for my kitties. These were like a dollar and some change. And these were both under $2, the party mix for my cats. Then, um, this was also in the Easter candy section. It's the fun dip and you get watermelon and strawberry. Uh, you get 10 packets, um, I believe 16, wait, 16 pouches. So this was $2 and some change guys two dollars and some change i'm just double checking exactly the price um yeah 209 and then i also bought a gallon of milk but it's already in the fridge so i just bought a gallon of milk so there's that then i picked up um this here oh my gosh i love this so much meals meals and memories are made here I thought that is so darling to um, put in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, I love this. Meals and memories are made here. So I love, like I've mentioned a million times before, I love signs that say things. I have them, so many things around my house that have like really like sweet motivational quotes, like that type of thing. I love just, you know, seeing things that are so positive, positive like this. So it's beautiful. The sentiment is beautiful. So this was in the dollar spot and um, it's like, it almost looks like chalkboard, right? Meals and memories are made here. And here's the back. It was, um, you just hang it up right there by the hook and it was $3. So I thought that was a pretty fair deal for this. Pretty good deal. So yeah, can you imagine like on the wall how cute that will be? Okay, keep, there we go. So yeah. Anyways, there's that. Yay, glad I found that. Then um, I found... This was the only, one of the only things I bought in the Easter section, I think. And this was 75 cents. And it's kind of not that great of a deal. When I, when I was ringing it up, I was like, eh, that's not really a great deal, but I'll go ahead and buy it because it's like Dollar Tree prices. So I don't feel bad. Um, and this is for my youngest son for next year. It's just easy for them to, um, you know, dye their eggs this way because they can put the egg in there and um, they can just dip it in each cup of um, Easter egg dye. And, um, yeah, it's cute. It's got a little bunny or a little, um, chick on the top. So yeah, so 75 cents. It's okay. It's a good deal. Then I picked up this from the dollar spot as well. I just had to get this. Um, I just realized it's kind of got it. I think that's the outside layer. Okay. So, um, this is, a poster pack and I thought this was really really cute um, I'm seeing a lot of palm trees stuff everywhere in fact the dollar tree, a dollar spot had a ton of 
palms and everything like that, like, you know, actual palm, like plants and, you know, like stuff like this is like the, I think this, the, the look that's going to be out this summer is this whole palm, palm look. And, um, so you get a, a doll and you get three and it says every summer has a story. So, um, yeah. And then, um, I'll go ahead and go in closer so you can see the actual ones that are in there. And I love the gold. It's so like um, blingy and like over the top. I love that gold. It's so pretty. It's so cute. So I don't know what, what I'm going to do with this. Um, I need to get frames that match. So when thrift store and Goodwill open, oh, I'm going to totally be looking for three 8x10s that match. It'll be so cute. Just imagine like in frames on the wall. That is so cute, right? There we go. Isn't that cute? So anyway, I got that. That's like Dollar Tree prices. I'm like, I love this. And they had other ones too. And then um, I picked up soap. And I was so surprised to see they had a lot of soap, guys. A lot of soap. Uh, hand soap. So I picked up the, the Smartly brand again. This was only 99 cents, you guys. And it's such cute packaging. So this one says, uh, smells like a meadow. So I picked up that one. So I like that one. And then... This one is um, liquid. This one's um, smells like the ocean. So this will probably go in my. Um, uh, I have an ocean themed bathroom, or like nautical. Nautica, not is that the word nautica? Nautical. I can't. I don't. Nautica is the brand. Nautical. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. So I love that. I mean, I really like this soap. You know. So I mean, it kind of dries my hand, hands out a little bit, but a lot of soaps do. So I really can't. Um, I, 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 li I like the scent of it and I like the packaging. So, um, this one says smells like a rain shower and this one is, um, this one says, uh, this is another one that smells like a rain shower. And then, um, I picked this up for either my mom or mother-in-law. Um, they only had one cause I'm looking at mother's day gifts and they only had one. And so I thought this would be so cute. Um, so it says felt, it's a felt corsage pin and it says grandma. I think that's so cute. Like for mother's day, I think that is so, so cute. Like to wear, like my mom wears a lot of blazers. So that'd be so cute on like a lapel. I think it's so sweet. I mean, just to wear like for Mother's Day for like pictures and stuff, but it's actually like a corsage and it's made of felt. It's like so darling. Um, and let's see if it shows. so this was a dollar and this is the back how it pins in the back. You see right here, the, the way it attaches. It's really sweet, really sweet. So yeah, so can you imagine like, it's really cute, right? So I could probably mail this to my mom if we don't get to see each other for Mother's Day because of the social distancing thing going on. So I, you know, or my mother-in-law, um, but they only had one left. So that's like the whole rack was like gone. So I found one. And the last thing I think is here to show you is I'm so excited is this rug. And I'm like mad at myself because after I left, I realized these are only $5. This one, I don't know about them all, but they say $7 and they're gorgeous rugs. And I just, and so I got to the car and I'm like, oh, I don't want to go back in. I'm like tired, you know, um, which never happens to me. I'm not tired usually. Um, so <laughs> I was like, and I don't, you know, want to keep having to go back in too. Right. Cause I want to, it's like, you're like, we're supposed to be like not being everywhere right now. So I'm trying to be like, you know, I'm listening to that. And so I just was like, eh, you know, and I park far out, as you guys know, I park really far out. So I'm like, I am not walking back in, but I still like right now wish I had bought the, cause they had them in different colors and oh, so cute. So, cause I need some new rugs for my bathroom and they had some like, gray, like Moroccan print and I, they were $7 tagged. They might've been $5 and I would have bought the three that they had for my bathroom to put one by underneath each of my sinks in my bathroom. So I'd need two there and then one by my shower. So but that's okay. So here is the one I bought to put in under my kitchen sink. It's so cute. Welcome to our pier. Kind of has a 1940s vibe to it. Like a, I don't know. And I know that this is probably supposed to be like a front doormat, but I'm like, it's going to get really dirty with people's shoes. So I think I'm, I know this is welcome to our pier, but I love that. Cause it's like just so sweet. They also had something about 
an anchor. The house is our anchor or something. It was so cute. But um, anyway, I bought this one. Like I said, I got some things that I totally needed and I'm excited. And like I said, um, I was disappointed in the um, Easter stuff, but you know, I guess I was day late, a dollar short with the Easter clearance. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, but okay. So I also have friend mail I want to open. So, um, let me go ahead and open that now. I'm so excited. So I checked my PO box because my PO box is right near Target. Um, it's like, it's like really close to Target. So it's like out, like out of the, on my way home. So yeah, I went to Target, I mean to the, my PO box and I checked my um, mail and I had two pieces of friend mail. So I'm going to go ahead and open that now. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. So I got two cards in the mail. It's so sweet. And I'm sorry I didn't check it sooner. So, um, Maria, I'm so sorry I didn't check my appeal box sooner. Um, I haven't been going as often because I haven't been going out as much, but, um, I'll totally start checking it. Um, I, I will at least check it once a week right now. You know, I'll at least start checking it once a week. Um, that'll be my plan to... Um, it, I'll definitely check it once a week. So, um, but yeah, so the first one is from Maria. So I'm going to go ahead and open. I got two cards here, two cards. And so, um, so it's from Maria Cotez. Um, so Maria is in Portland, Oregon, Florida. So she's such a sweetie and she's, you, Maria, you're always so kind to me. Thank you so much. So yeah, so she sent me an Easter card. So let's go ahead and open this. Oh, let me turn it around and I'll show you. Let me just do this and there is the card the front and let's go ahead and see the card that miss maria sent me so sweet of you i know i'm so bad i didn't check it before easter guys i'm so sorry it says easter time is here and that's darling with the little eggs all over it so cute Oh, oh, I love that, Maria. Oh, I love that so much. Let your light shine before others. That is very beautiful. I love that. It's a prayer card, guys. Today's prayer. Let your light shine before others, Matthew 5, 16. That is gorgeous. I love that saying so, so much. So, so much. Thank you so much for that. That's so cute. I'll have to put that on my fridge. I love that. I love that reminder. Um, and then it says, Dear Sarah and family, have a, have a decorated egg, a jelly bean or two, but mostly have a happy heart this Easter all day through. Happy Easter. Have fun. Your friend always, Maria and family. Oh, thank you so, so much, Maria and your family. Thank you very much. So sweet of you to think of me. Really appreciate that. It's so kind. So kind. Um, then the next card is from Miss Debbie, and she is in Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. So here's the darling little card she sent me with the little googly eyes, little uh, bunny. So cute. So I'm going to go ahead and open this. Oh, and the back is really decorated, really cute. Okay, she put a butterflies on it, and I love butterflies. I'm going to open it from the bottom, um, Debbie, because I don't want to... Um, I don't want to rip these stickers because they're so cute. I don't want to rip the stickers. Oh, I love this card. That's beautiful. Happy Easter. So cute. So cute. Sarah, hope this Easter holds surprises everywhere you look. Girl, it, she says, girl, thank you for your videos. You are such a joy to watch. So, so down to earth. Hope you enjoy your Easter with your family, Debbie, 2020. Oh, thank you so much, Debbie. You're so sweet. Oh, that's so, so sweet of you. And thank you for your kind words. Uh, that was really kind of you. You have very nice writing. Very nice writing. You guys should see my writing. It does not look like this. Very pretty writing. Very like bubbly. You guys, I had my writing um, analyzed when I was like 18 years old. I met this lady who, um, when I was working at JCPenney's and she was, there's a name for it, you guys. There's actually a name for it. And she, I got to find it somewhere. But she had me do a certain thing. I can't remember what it was. And she'd take my signature and she, or sorry, she had me write something and then she analyzed it. And then she uh, sent me back a whole thing about me based on my writing. And I thought that was so cool. And I forget what the name of that, it's a job. And I think it's like, it's like, 
it, there's a it's a very important job, but I, I don't remember the name of it. It's not it's not a stenographer. That's the person in the court, right, with the little the thing keyboard that takes notes. Ah, I don't know what the name of it. But anyway, if you guys can think of the name of that person who the people who do that who like analyze handwriting, oh, I would love to know the name of that. So, but again, thank you, Debbie, so, so much for your sweet card. I really appreciate that. So, all right, guys. So that is um, it for my Dollar Tree haul. And um, and um, thank you again for the friend mail, guys. Thank you so much. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And um, yeah, so everybody, I'll see you tomorrow with my next haul. So till next time, take care of yourselves, everybody. I'm wishing you all well. And um I'll see you tomorrow. So take care. God bless you all. Sending hugs and I'll see you soon. Bye.